Oi Angus, did you see that Aldi's selling a 3D printer now? Why yes, yes I did. Welcome back to Maker's Muse guys, yes it's happened. Aldi, one of our beloved budget supermarket chains, are soon to start selling a 3D printer and a lot of you guys have been asking about it, I mean a lot of you guys. So I thought why not, let's make a quick video addressing all of your questions and concerns. Firstly the brand, Cocoon Create. Okay, never heard of that one, but that's not too surprising considering Aldi's business model is basically self-branding everything they sell. Looking over the specs, the printer has an advertised print volume of 200 by 200 by 180 millimeters, has a heated bed, and is advertised to print with Cocoon Create branded PLA, ABS, PVA, and HIPS, but more on that later. The software supported is Cura, and it has an advertised layer resolution of 100 to 400 microns. It's also priced at $499 e dues, which is really attractive at the moment thanks to our weak Aussie dollar. Even the Fabricator Mini cost me $320 to bring in, so you get a lot more 3D printer for not much more money. Ah yes, I see you there typing that comment. You loyal subscribers will instantly recognize this 3D printer. This is the Wanhal Duplicator i3 version 2. Part for part, spec for spec, it is completely identical to the Wanhal. All they've changed is the branding, including flashing a different logo into the startup screen. So what does this mean? Well, the Duplicator i3 is a decent printer. My version suffered a few early issues because it was a version 1, but they have since been fixed in version 2. The machine is folded sheet steel, making it fairly rigid and quite durable, and it's based on open source firmware and software, meaning a lot can be done to it in terms of upgrading or tweaking or even hacking it. I also want to quickly crush the horrible confusion going on in the Oz Bargain thread for this machine. It does not have proprietary filament. Stop saying that it does. You stick whatever 1.75mm roll you like into the roll holder and feed it in. It may work, it may not. The machine doesn't care. This also means that although Cura is suggested as the slicing software, you could basically use anything on the market as I recently demonstrated in my slicer throwdown. Also as a side note, although it has a heated bed and says it supports ABS, do not expect to be printing many successful full bed ABS prints on any machine of this style, this open i3 style, without significant mods. The ambient air temperature around the printer is just too hard to combat and you're definitely going to get some warping issues. I highly recommend sticking to PLA if you're just starting out with a machine like this. So Aldi have clearly put a lot of effort into videos for running this machine, which I hope for god customers watch, because going blind into 3D printers of this kind will lead to nothing but tears and suffering. Even something as simple as leveling the print bed, which needs to be done on a regular basis on machines like this, may well just be ignored by your average Joe. I predict that quite a few of these poor machines are destined to be returned purely due to user error and ignorance. I hope you're ready for that Aldi. So do I recommend it? Well, yes, actually I do. Here's why. Currently, if I was going to buy exactly the same machine from China, the Wanhao Duplicator i3 version 2, it would set me back $399 US, which at the time of this video is about, it's about $562 Australian dollars. That's paying more for a printer direct from China, where I risk it being trashed by a courier, or if it gets legit broken, you know, good luck ever getting it returned back to China. But you can buy the same machine for less directly from Aldi. So if it does have a problem, you can just take it back no questions asked. Sounds pretty good to me. Something I'm also really keen to see is if they start stocking more of the print surfaces, which are Chinese copies of BuildTac. It'd be really awesome going grocery shopping and picking up a few sheets of those plus a roll or two of filament at the same time. What a time we live in. So thanks for watching guys. I hope this video put some of your questions to rest. If not, definitely stick them in the comments below in this video and I'll try to get to them. Aldi are really pushing the hype button on this one. I mean, they've even got a countdown timer on their website and everything. It looks really swish. I've sent them an email asking if they want to shoot one my way for a review, but I won't be holding my breath on that one. As some of you may know, I run Simplify 3D on my Wanhao. It's awesome software for slicing, but it's paid. Wouldn't it be awesome to, I don't know, win a copy of Simplify 3D? Well, my buddy Anthony at the Hot End has an awesome competition running at the moment where you can do just that. You can win your own copy of Simplify 3D. How awesome's that? Be sure to head over and check out his video and congrats man on reaching 3K. If you want to see my review of the original Wanhao Duplicator i3, you can check it out here, I think. Be sure to keep in mind it was an older version, so a lot of the problems I had have been since fixed. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any future 3D printed content. I'll see you guys soon here on Maker's Muse. Catch you later.